Well, the time has come to get this stuff burnt up. Got the water hose is ready. Water hose is on. <laughs> What's burning green yellow smoke? But briars in there. Them briars are pretty mean. That's probably what's burning. Gonna have smoky beer. <laughs> yeah, gonna have a smoky car. Any of you homesteaders out there looking for land? There's some land for sale up here. That piece across the street. Kind of goes around there, and then there's, I think, a piece on the other side of that. Those acres, I believe, all of it's 15,000 something, but they're dividing it up. Also, 5,000 an acre. If somebody is interested. Also, it's unrestricted land. Of course, there is um, no water access up here. You have to do a well, or you could pay, I'm not sure, I think $175 a foot to run a water line. We chose not to, we didn't want it anyway. But, the land is usable up over there, but it does, it kind of goes straight down, but there is... A little section right back there um, on the other side of our property that's a sweet little piece it's um uh, it's level and then there's a road that kind of goes around it but it's not much of a road and I think that if whoever bought that land down in there would probably do away with that road and you would have a lot more usable land but I believe there's about a little over three acres that runs kind of down in there. Then it goes across there. We'd love to have a one or two good old homesteading families up here. People that understood that... <laughs> There are pigs and goats and ducks and chickens and yard full of puppies and you know a lot of folks don't understand that kind of thing and they just fuss and complain about it. Oh their pigs stink. Oh their goat stinks. Now Buck does, we know that. But we don't care. Oh their dogs are running in my yard. Their dogs are pooping in my yard. I just don't want to hear that kind of mess, and I'm afraid we will if the wrong kind of folks get up here. You know, people want to come up and build a, a little cabin, or maybe they want to set up a, a, a mobile home just for the weekend. Well, that won't work up here. We've also got behind us, back up there, is a rock quarry, and they blast at least once or twice a week. and. It's pretty jarring, and when it hits that well, you're going to get muddy water. And the water up here has a lot of iron in it, too, so it has to be filtered. But most homesteaders understand that, and they do what they need to do. So, anyway, if anybody's interested, we're in the foothills of North Carolina. And I know property is hard to find a homestead on. And we're about, mm, I'm gonna say eight miles from town, but there's a grocery store a couple miles down the road. And go the other way, you're going to a, another major town, about 
32 miles away and but it's quiet up here and we're pretty good people I'd like to think but we never thought they'd sell this land out here it was actually promised to us and then they said they got tired of waiting I guess I don't know but anyway if you're interested send me a message or leave it in the comments we had to doze this up here it was all woods like that and we had to clear it and <laughs> believe it or not we raked rocks out of the yard for over a year before we could even get any grass and then the weeds took over the grass and then the quarry's mess but all that's getting cleaned up <laughs> some of it's in that burn pile <sighs> So anyway, folks, I'll let you go for now. I gotta get back to work. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.